I'm just thinking like, uh, when you say Christian, I'm like, is this the guy that puts like a Bible verse in his Instagram profile? Or is this the guy that goes to church on Sundays? Or is this oh, the one who has like Philipp does he have Philippians 413 tatted on him somewhere? Like he's you know? probably a hoe. Right. <laughs> like no, but a real real Christians don't have to do what all that extra. Christian? You're gonna know you're gonna know they're a Christian by how they carry themselves. They don't even have to say what, they're by, a Christian. By like in integrity, humility. integrity, how, how they carry, how they treat others, how they you know -like. talk to others more more Christ like. You know, all Christians, everybody everybody falls short, but it's about how they continue to go on after that. Uh, Go ahead I, and never ask that question because I think Glenn asked a very, very good question. What'd you say, Glenn? I said, "What is? What do you? What do you define as a Christian? And what makes a Christian? What is a real Christian man then?" Oh, you say a real Christian man? Yeah, because yeah, that's what we're talking about. We're talking okay. about men. So what yeah. is a real, Christian a, real man? a real Christian man is going to read the Bible. You know, like I said, we all fall short. Might might get busy, but you're going to always before anything. You're going to always put God first. A real Christian, it, it regardless, is going to put God first, regardless of anything they have going on. Also, by the way, they carry themselves. You know, a lot of men, and I'm not saying you're not Christian just because you mess up or you do some of these things, but it's about knowing that you're doing it wrong and trying to make it right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, also, a Christian man is going to always, like I said, put God first. That's going to be the main thing because when you know – that they're putting God first, you know, everything else is going to fall in line in the way it's supposed to go. Because like I was saying in the last show, you know who you're looking up to, you know who you're guided by. Yeah. Okay. I, I would, I would say, you know, a lot of people have read the Bible. Um, it doesn't make them a Christian. There's a lot of atheists that have read the Bible and wrote books on it to dispute it. They're not Christian. Um, a lot of people go to church on Sunday that give money to the tithe offerings. They're no, but that's what I said. It's, it's more than just that. It's also about having a relationship with God your, yourself. That's, that's, the, that's the main point right there. Yeah, that's the, that's main, the main thing, point. having a relationship yeah. with, with God yourself. Um, Me personally, I like I said, I fall short, but I've currently been on my spiritual journey trying to work on things that I need to work on, and I've been building my relationship with God. And I'm not saying I'm the perfect Christian because I still curse, you know, but it's it takes 20 days, 24 days to break a bad habit. So, you know, um, it's just about having a personal relationship with God. You know, everybody, a lot of people that like, like Torsha was saying, that just be posting it in their bio and having it on their, their body. They don't even have a personal relationship with God. They just want to have that to say, I say got I God do. on my side. Yeah. Without actually, you know, me personally, I'm a PK. I grew up in the church. Um, and I feel like at a point because I'm a PK, I was, I felt like church was more so of a chore and not something that I actually wanted to do. So oh, yeah, when I went yeah. off to college, yeah, when I went off to college, I told myself, because I, 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 regardless of me not wanting to always be in church, I still believed in God. Um, so when I went to college, I was just kind of like, I'm going to stay back. I'm not going to go to church. I'm just going to wait until I feel like I'm ready to start over with that relationship with God without it being, my mama told me I got to go to church. My dad, granddaddy told me and we're, you know, cause my granddaddy is a pastor as well. So, you know, but once I finally took a step back and God took me through things to where I didn't have no choice, but to run back to him. That's when I was like, okay, I'm ready to start over with my relationship with God, build it from the ground up and do only the things that I feel like I need to do for my spiritual journey. You know, what I think everybody will think I'm doing cool or whatever. You know what I mean? Like I, I always tell people, no, I'm not, the perfect perfect person, but let me ask yeah. you a question. Why, why do you think that going out on, for a girls' night is a is a good thing then? I I mean, it depends on how y'all defining it. Because if y'all talking about going on a girls' night and like I'm married, I mean, most married women aren't going to do that all the time to begin with. Well, but but I mean, just, regardless, all the time or any time, like, why do you think that like you should you ever. should be going? I mean, it's. I just feel like it's nothing wrong with catching up with old friends, going out to eat, going to get drinks, you know, just laughing with one another. Because me personally, I love being around dudes, but sometimes I just want to see my girlfriends to talk about things that only girls will understand. It's not you can't like have them over for a slumber party, paint nails. I and, mean, you know... what what? What grown women want to sit in the house and paint nails? <laughs> Let's be realistic here. Uh -huh. Most people in our age, most women in our age group. I mean, my age group and older, we like to eat, 
We like to take drinks. We like to hear music when we eat, or especially in the dance. black community, when we yeah, when we eat, we or have a good drinks, we want to dance a little bit. So that's why women go out. And also, I feel like as well, me personally, I've looked at looked at going out as a reset. Most of the time, when I'm going through a lot or it's been a hard week, I just be like, oh, okay. I'm going to go out, have fun, enjoy myself. I want to laugh until I can't laugh no more till my stomach hurts. It just makes me, it makes me feel good. It's like a good reason. What, what, are, you, what the, are you wearing when you go out? What are you wearing when you go out? Are you wearing sweatpants? Are you wearing, you know, a hoodie? No, I dress or are you nice. Dressing, you're dressing attractive. I mean, but that's because I like to look good, not to get any but, men. But, but, I like but, to look but, good but, myself. But, no, you, no, you don't. You like to look good I because probably, looking. No, every woman. Tosha will co-sign this. Every woman look dresses nice to look good because she likes the fact that people acknowledge them. They notice the attention. They may guys may not come up to them or say anything, but they like to know that they look are attractive and they like the compliments that come with it. Women don't do it for themselves. Let me let me put because, it in. Let, this let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Do you work? Do you do you clean your house in high heels, in a skirt? Yes. <laughs> Well, okay, Torsha, you know you do, okay? Because you extra. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, me per me personally, no, no, I don't. But that's because when I'm home, I like to look down. But let me put it, let me put it in this perspective for you, okay? So I've had times, okay, where I've went through like a depression, right? And I noticed that sometimes what adds on to my depression is if I'm just laying around the house with my bonnet on, ain't change clothes ain't got myself looking good or feeling good you feel how you look you look how you feel so i noticed once i started actually okay let me just do my makeup today let me just you know do my hair let me make myself feel good it made me feel good you know what i mean it's more so i feel like it's some women that just say it just to say it but it's some women that genuinely want to wake up in the morning and make themselves look good because honestly when you look good you feel good like i said when i was going through my depression that was one of the things that helped me get out of it was me so getting they, dressed getting cute and just looking in the mirror like okay you a bad bitch. let know? me ask you this question so let's say your husband come home from work you have this girl's night planned out right and he's used to seeing you as you said comfortable because you're at home right and then now you're getting ready to go out with your girls but now you're getting dressed up and you look better leaving the house than you did when you're at the house don't you think that your husband has a right to have a problem with that? He I should only like have a problem if he sets that boundary in the beginning of the relationship. If he doesn't, he better not have yeah. an issue that's with true. it. I agree. I agree. That's true. And I'll also say this. Um, I'm not sure how other cultures do it, but I know in the black community, a lot of our mothers raise us to know like regardless you don't leave the house leaving looking a mess no matter who you trying to press you don't leave the house looking tacky you don't leave the house looking a mess so i think it's kind of in us like okay today i feel like i just wanted to look like bs but okay when i go out i i want to look like something you know i personally don't never leave out if i i can have on sweats but i'm gonna make sure my hair is done i got a little lashes on you know i'm gonna make sure that i'm leaving the house looking presentable it's more than just, you know, always looking, get going for a man's opinion, you know? Hey, y'all, Sergio here. I just want to mention I've created a completely free guide that shows you exactly how I went from having low confidence and being painfully awkward around women to easily meeting and dating numerous high quality, desirable women in real life without the use of any dating apps or social media. So if you're struggling to get out there, if you have approach anxiety or don't know what to say or how to interact with women to make them want you and are sick of using dating apps with low value girls that hundreds of other guys have been chatting with, click the link in the description below to grab your free guide right now. And if you want private mentorship with me personally to help guide you every step of the way in this process, check out my mentorship program in the description too. I would be happy to help you reach your dating goals and overcome any obstacle you may face. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope to see you soon. Peace out.